Metal Tactical AK from Lancer Tactical. Now, I know the lines can get blurred out there when you go to get a Full Metal AEG, and it comes down to those affordable priced options, and it's hard to tell what's going to be worth it, what's not. Are you just getting a metal piece of crap, or are you actually getting a halfway decent rifle? Uh, Lancer Tactical, and not only with this AK, but an entire line of Full Metal AEGs, is really stepping up the bar with some quality offerings. The Full Metal Tactical AK uh, retails at about $210. Now, as you can see here, it's going to come with a 9.6 volt battery and a standard wall charger. Be careful with that wall charger. I wouldn't let it charge more than three or four hours. Make sure you're monitoring that battery while it charges. It comes with your front sight post adjustment and a high cap winder tool and also your starter bag of BBs. The BB quality does look pretty decent, so don't be afraid to use those. It is also going to come stock with a 500 round high capacity magazine. Uh, and it's going to be similar to like the thermal mold waffle style magazine with the roller on the bottom. Again, it does come with that high cap winder. So you'll see on the side of this high cap magazine, it has the porthole to stick that key in to get that wound up, which is a little bit easier than rolling your index finger on the bottom of that mag to wind the high cap. Now, right next to it, I'm putting an Echo One brand high capacity magazine, and it is compatible. So it's going to be compatible with all of your um, other AK variant magazines as well. As you can see here, real quick, I fast forwarded it, but it's not uh, it's not assembled as far as the ergo charging handle and spring with the button to release your top receiver, which is kind of cool. It, uh, it guarantees that it's not going to break in shipping in the box, and it kind of makes you have to get to know your rifle, which I don't mind at all. Now, I have had this style AEG before, this tac tactical type AK style uh, AEG before, so I am a bit familiar with it, so I am kind of cheating, but it is nice that you do have to take some time and understand how it works and put it together a little bit. It kind of helps you bond with your AEG. I like that. Now, a quick word of advice. Uh, if you're like me and you like getting down on the good deals with affordable AEGs, especially when it comes to the full metal options like this offering from Lancer Tactical, you always want to make sure you go over it with a fine tooth comb. So there is a, a level of responsibility that you have to take in order to save a buck. You need to make sure that you're confident enough to keep your gun maintained. It might not be tip top once you get it out of the box. That being said, I did have to remove the barrel assembly and the hop up assembly, the inner barrel. The inner barrel actually got cocked sideways inside uh, probably during the manufacturing process and I had to take it out and just re uh, reinstall it all. After that, it did work great. The hop-up worked great. The barrel was great. Everything was shooting straight. Everything was shooting far. The hop-up was uh, very responsive. I had no problems hitting targets uh, around that 150, 250 mark. I was so confident with it that I went ahead and took it out with me to a Milsom West event in uh, Camp Guernsey, Wyoming last month, and I've even taken it out to some local plays here around town in Kansas City. I love the gun. It's dependable. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Again, for that $210 price point, you really can't beat it. Um, but again, make sure you're checking to tighten down the screws. It does come loose during shipping, things like that. It does come stock with a glued on flash hider, which isn't bad in my opinion. If you're not going to change out the flash hider, just leave it as is. But if you need to take it off, if you absolutely have to take it off and want to put on a suppressor, it is going to be a 14 millimeter negative thread underneath. So there you go, guys. You hit me, bro. I'm sorry. I hit the door God damn. No, you smoked the <laughs> fuck out of me. Dead man. <laughs> All right, buddy. Jesus Christ. I got a plan now. I don't want to get out.